on New Year's Eve, they used to get up to all sorts of pranks. The Mackenzie boys used to come down and, and in the cow yard they'd tie all the stools to the ceiling and all that sort of thing and put the cows in the bales back to front and <laughs> oh, little devils. And we used to have an old fellow come to sea spray called Charlie the Indian. And um, he used to always camp at our place and he had two beautiful white horses and he had this great big van all full of goodies, you know, like um, materials and ribbons and mirrors and combs and, oh, us kids had never seen pretty things like that before, you know, right. beads and everything. It was a real novelty. And we used to be waiting for Charlie to open up his van because when he travelled all the distance, he was tired, too tired. He'd say, no, in the morning, girls, I'll open it up, you know. And um, he was a man that came out here from India many, many years ago and he had a wife and family back in India. He was Indian. Oh, right. a real Indian. He wore the thing around his head. Right. Charlie the Indian, we called him. I don't know yeah. what his other name was. But what I was trying to get at, he used to go then from our place down to Sea Spray and he'd, and he'd unhitch his horses. They had the van, yeah, the horses pulled the van. Yeah. Beautiful horses they were. Yeah. He always used to unhitch them and and feed them and water them and, and all that, tip buckets of water over them when they got to the beach. But uh, on New Year's Eve, if he was down the beach down there, all the young ones used to play. He used to sleep in the van, you see, and he'd have the horses tied up somewhere and he'd sleep in the van, and the kids would play tricks on him and cart him all around, sea spray.